All right, and last but not least, in this session, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the tap uh, drilling operation. Now, in my SolidWorks model, I did not design a tapping in the holes. All I did is cut those holes uh, the way they are right now, drilled. Okay, so if you wanna just add a tapped drilling operation, you can do that without having to set up anything extra in SolidWorks. So even though my holes are 0.125, you can actually tab drill them to 0.1875 as we're going to be doing this in this exercise. So let's go ahead and get started by going to 2.5D and let's go to drill. Okay, now we're going to select the same drill as before. So drill one, this will select the same, uh, the, the, select all the holes over here as was done in our previous two operations and then go to tool. Now for the tool, you want to go to select and then we're going to go to add new tool. Okay, come over here under drilling tools and under the tap. Okay. Going over the uh, tapping tool real quick uh, for the, under the pitch, this will be threads per inch. It's going to see the 25.4 threads per inch. And you're welcome to set the tool up depending on whatever tool that you're using. Uh, different tools have different cut length, different uh, uh, threads per inch and you want to adjust all these features to ac ac uh, accommodate the, your uh, tap drill. Okay, the biggest thing I want to do over here for the thread diameter, I want to change that to 0.1875. Okay, and so that's going to be bigger than your hole and you always want your tap drill to be bigger than the hole that you drill. We drilled a hole of 0.125. This is going to be about 60,000, 67,000 bigger um, than your hole. So you're able to remove material and be able to uh, later on um, thread some nuts in there uh, after you do the tap drilling. Okay, now that you have that selected, click on select. And let's go over here under levels. Now real quick, you definitely don't want your drill depth to be at the point of where that th the, the your drilling operation went. But I'm going to go ahead and actually click on drill depth. And I'm going to select it, the, the depth of the drill, just so I can show you guys something. So now I know it's going to set up for me the drill depth. Now I know for a fact that I don't want it to be going down that deep. So I'm going to actually minimize that by going to only 0.2 right there. So that will minimize the drill depth for me. Now that drill depth is combined of 0.45 instead of about 0.55 that was already there and the reason for that is because I don't want it to be tap drilling all the way to the the tip I want it to be a little bit before because once the tap drill enters here it's not going to be able to remove the material from this point down so I definitely don't want it to be to the tip I want it to be a little bit uh, over here or a little bit greater so just to be safe I changed it to 2.2 which removed about 0 0.08 or 80, 80 thou clearance between here and where the tab drill will end. Okay, now that's really all you have to do. Click on save and calculate and then click on simulate. I'm gonna set my part in a way where you can see what's going on, slow down my simulation speed and then click on play. And there you go, you're gonna see your drill come down and tab drill in all the holes. Okay, so you're going to see that. So it's not going to show threads in solid cam. It's not going to show you guys the tapping, but it's going to show you that it went all the way down to right about here. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit before it gets down to uh, the cone or the pony surface. So it does not, it does not tap into the surface right here, which is good. So basically I made sure I tap just deep enough to clear that without having some interference issues. There you go, click on the X, click on exit, and there you go. All you have to do now is go to uh, isometric view, go ahead and save your entire operation, and now you're ready to generate your code. So there's two ways to generate your code. All you have to do is come down here under code and generate. Okay, and just click on okay going to generate your entire code and put it into a notepad.tap file or alternatively you can come over here under operations 
G code all and then generate. So there's two ways you can generate your code. And this concludes the last session of exercise number two in the SolidCam video tutorial.